But tonight, a bizarre and tragic road rage attack has left two men dead. Police say after an initial crash, the suspect in the attack ran over the victim, killing him. That suspect was then hit and killed in oncoming traffic when he tried to run across I-80 near Reno. As CBS 13 Steve Large reports, the victim's friends are remembering him as a fun-loving man whose life was taken way too soon. I looked at him as an older brother, and I always will. Mikey Majors tried holding back tears, describing his close friend Jared Johnson. We're all hurting pretty bad right now. This is definitely one of the hardest things I've ever had to go through in my life. Photos show Johnson enjoying what he loved most, motorsports. He worked as a mechanic at North Star. This was Johnson celebrating his 30th birthday last year. Video shows the crime scene on Interstate 80 that left him dead. The Nevada State Highway Patrol says Johnson became the victim of a road rage attack. He was rear-ended on Interstate 80 near the state line. Johnson and the suspect in the crash ended up outside their vehicles in a fist fight before the suspect got in Johnson's truck and ran him over, killing him. I can't even imagine knowing that he would have known that that was his last moment. You know, I, I can't even imagine what quick thoughts may have went through his head, you know, going through what he was going through just to, he was just going home. Police said the suspect later tried carjacking several other vehicles on the highway before being hit and killed himself in oncoming traffic. A wild sequence and a senseless act, leaving family and friends of Jared Johnson suffering a heartbreaking loss. Jared was real, he was genuine, and he had so much life in him and so much ahead of him. I just want everybody to know he was a great guy. Besides his parents, Johnson leaves behind a sister, a niece, and a nephew. Nevada Highway Patrol has identified the suspect in the case who died as Jamie Ramirez from Woodland.